conscious mind is the data storage center of the brain. It recognizes simple shapes and colors and takes in any information that the conscious mind cannot figure out. The subconscious is not just a storage center, however. It is in control of our five senses and it makes important decisions even before the conscious mind becomes aware of them. The subconscious mind is what determines our view of reality and how we manifest it. It is of the utmost importance that we are careful what we program it with. Brain waves are electrical messages sent back and forth between neurons in the brain. Of the five different types of brain waves, the alpha wave is known to be the best for learning new ideas. Advertisers know it to be a fact. They depend on the hypnotic effect of the television to put viewers in the alpha brain wave that connects them to the subconscious mind. When you watch television, your brain waves change. The first thing that happens is you go from beta wave, normal waking consciousness, to alpha wave, a relaxed state in which you can easily be programmed with encoded information and triggers. Alpha brain waves link the conscious mind with the subconscious. The flicker rate of the television was purposely designed to put the viewer into a hypnotic trance. Today, at 60 hertz, or 60 frames per second, your conscious mind is overwhelmed and the subconscious takes over. This means that the conscious mind does not have a chance to logically discern what it sees. Instead, the unaltered information is accepted and stored by the subconscious mind, where our perceptions of the world are formed. Children under the age of seven are naturally in a hypnagogic state, trying to learn the rules of this world they were born into. These are the most vulnerable ones that we need to watch out for. Children who watch television are being programmed with what they will base their entire lives on. The neural pathways of the brain are constantly reforming themselves based on the information that comes in. The pathways are set according to what your daily habits are. When you change your habits or just change your mind, you begin to form new pathways. You can actually train your brain this way. However, if you are allowing someone else to train your brain, you are giving them the ability to reform and reshape the neural pathways of your brain for you. You begin to accept new perceptions as your own, not realizing it was an outside source that programmed your thoughts. There are certain frequencies that are harmoniously based on sacred geometry. One of these frequencies is 432 hertz. For thousands of years, the musical standard for tuning instruments was A equals 432 hertz. However, the American Standards Association decided to follow the lead of Nazi Joseph Goebbels and change the standard tuning frequency for all musical instruments and music to 440 hertz. Modern music worldwide is now tuned to this harmful, disharmonious vibration, literally off-key, that agitates the human frequency and promotes hostility and antisocial behavior. The frequencies of human emotions have now been measured and recorded. They can be sent through television and radio transmissions to the masses or to one individual in particular by targeting their personal brainwave resonance. The screen of the device, whether it is television, computer, or cell phone, can pulse the frequency at the user. These emotional transmissions are often based on fear and anger. The best way to ensure you are not being pulsed with harmful frequencies is to turn the device off.
delicate relationship had been struck between life and the frequency of the planet. An interaction of living organisms and electromagnetic frequencies. A reliance. A bond. Evidence of this can be found by reading the science papers. But more obvious proof can be found by simply walking outside. The frequency of the alpha waves recorded by Hans Berger were almost identical to Schumann resonance. The frequency of the Earth. Dr. Ankermuller immediately contacted Schumann to convince him to investigate further. Schumann agreed and worked alongside one of his students to refine his discovery. They studied in detail how tension is discharged by lightning in the Earth ionosphere cavity. Eventually, they came up with an exact frequency. The pulse of the Earth, Schumann resonance, was exactly 7.83 Hertz. The discovery was remarkable. Schumann resonance wasn't just similar to the alpha waves of the human brain, it was identical. The brain's frequency which controlled our creativity, our performance, our stress, anxiety and our immune system had somehow tuned in to the frequency of the planet. The pulse of the earth had become the pulse of life itself. We are a brilliant yet complex organism. The way that our body functions isn't by chance, nor is it something which has happened overnight. Like every other creature on this planet, we have adapted into the environment we exist in. An environment which, since the beginning of time, has had a delicate balance of fields and resonances. These phenomena don't just surround us, they make us what we are. The cells of our body communicate with each other using light frequencies. Our DNA uses electromagnetic frequencies to reproduce itself. At the core of everything are protons and electrons, positive and negative, making all life magnetic. We are, as all life is, equipped with cryptochrome cells which allows us to sense those fields in ways we barely understand. We are beings of frequency, electricity, light, and magnetism. <laughs>